Hello everybody! My <laughs> name is Valkyrie and today we are doing Kobe Storyline. To make this uh, dish, this is a Swedish dish and to make it you need these ingredients. This is uh, Swedish uh, uh, Falkor. Uh, I say corn because I'm uh, from uh, Skåne. If I were not from Skåne, I would say corn. Yeah, this is like uh, bologna, uh, like lightly smoked bologna, I think. Some onion, some Dijon mustard, some butter, some black pepper, salt, cream, rice, jasmine rice. You will also need some uh, Japanese soy. I'm using Mrs. Cheng's Japanese soy, some tomato paste, and some milk. To cut the pieces like this, in the middle ones, then here, and then here. Now this is not very good, but you get it, guys. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is to take some butter and put it in the frying pan. So while we wait on the butter to heat up, we're going to take some snooze, aka nicotine pouches. <laughs> now, these are not snooze, as I've said a lot in my videos. All right, so now when they are uh, butter has been heated up, up and it's starting to bubble we're going to put in the onion all right let's this this is really nice and then we're going to actually give some uh, folicor to my uh, folicor to thank you come thank come <laughs> sit there we go Now we're getting the smell, you know, the smell is in the air, very nice, I love onion, very good. Okay, now it's starting to sweat, Oops. sweating. Alright, so the the onion is starting to get some color here, as uh, we can see here. In just a moment we're going to add the father cor uh, corn. Water is really good, stay hydrated guys. Oh. Now it's starting to get some color here. You can see it. So we can we can go ahead and uh, put in our uh, bologna, aka folicol, in to the frying pan. Oh like this. Oh. Let it uh, let it uh, Chill for a moment here, and then we can dance. Nice, look, ooh. All right, now when uh, the uh, folco and the uh, onion has, uh, the onion has been like a little soft, and not, not crispy, just soft, uh, then it's ready. And also the uh, follicle should have uh, like, like get starting to get color. And then we can uh, go on directly here. And then we can add our tomato paste, which is about four tablespoons. One, two, three. And then we will turn up the heat. Okay, so after you've, uh, you're done with uh, this, you, you add some the tomato paste. And then just throw, throw it in this, into this, like so. Okay. <coughs> then mix it around a little bit. Alright, so now it's time to add our cream, which we will use like 5 deciliters. Alright, so everything, every grata, every cream. Cream in Swedish is uh, grädde, by the way, or grädde if you're from uh, Stockholm. And then add some milk. Perfect. So this is about deciliters of milk we want to add and then mix it around 
look now we're starting to get this wonderful color here I don't know what this is talking of I know what the uh, core is I think it's the mix of cream and everything it's called Stoganov or or it's named after a, a dude or something or a woman I don't know so now we're going to add some Dijon mustard into the mix the two two teaspoons here like this then take the Japanese soy And then mix it together. This is a salt mushroom, which is, I'm really proud of this one. <laughs> My girl bought, uh, bought it, and uh, I really like this one. And then some pepper. This is coconut. I'm addicted to salt, by, by the way. Comment if you also like salt. I have it on uh, everything. How much I'm salting, take it, take it with a pinch of salt. And then when we have mixed it around. Now, when uh, we should uh, take a taste test. I'm going to grab my uh, trusty tablespoon here. Dip it, swirl it around. My girlfriend taught me this. <laughs> more Dijon. <laughs> I've uh, noticed that we should add a little bit more of each thing. And then open the Dijon mustard. Oh, this. And then mix it. And it's time for our uh, taste test. Mm. <laughs> you know, you know, you got the right taste when you when you say mmm. It'd be kind of um, do you say like succulent taste? Now let's taste again. Tasting is really important in this uh, dish. When the taste is good, we just we just want it to heat up. So in the meantime, I'm going to cook some rice. Bubbles, you know it's starting to get hot. As it's getting hot again, let's throw in the rice. Oh, oh here is my dog, Frank. If you don't know how to cook a rice, uh, just uh, either Google it up or look on the package. <coughs> now I want to put a lid on it. And now this is bubbling a lot, so I think it's done. Now I uh, want to take a taste test again, just to be sure, you know. Now let's move this out of the way. Oops. So now let's wait for the rice to be done. Ignore the Dijon mustard uh, table, teaspoon. We have the uh, carrots here. I didn't mention the carrots, but uh, they are really good to have on top of the food. So the perfect way to take the food is to first take some rice. Take some rice. Feel it. Uh, this is how you you want it. I'm not the judge of how much you guys eat. Then add the kovstoganov, or kovstoganov, as I mentioned. If you're from uh, Stockholm. <laughs> All right. So now this is like this. And then you add a a handful of uh, carrots. This is also a, a thing you need to decide on your own. I'm not the judge of how much carrot you take. Corn is also really good to have on, but uh, 
We don't have that at the moment because I forgot to buy it today. And then let's take a test. I also like to mix it together. Oh, look at this. Oh, 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 nice. Let's take a, uh, a bite. Mm. So this is how you make Kopfstroganoff, Swedish edition slash my edition. This is a really easy recipe to do. It's also fairly cheap. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Have a really good day or night and I will see you in the next one.